If you're thinking of self-hosting NA10, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to show you how to self-host NA10, a powerful workflow automation tool in just a minute. Whether you're just starting out or have a full-scale AI agency, this will apply to you if you are not to have more control over your data and obviously save money. I know self-hosting might sound intimidating, where if you go through the NA10 documentation, where you have to launch a Docker image or you might have to write some codes, but I promise you it's easier than you think. I have tested three beginner-friendly methods. I will walk you through each one of the step-by-step -step live on screen. By the end of this video, you will have your own NA10 stands up and running, ready to automate anything you can think of. If you're new to this channel, my name is Aftab. I've been building AI automation since 2023. I have built hundreds of automation for myself and for others. And I can promise you I have got the shortcut to make this fast and painless. Before we dive in, let's quickly talk about why you might want to self-host NA10 instead of using cloud version. Depend on the journey where you are with your NA10. You might be a beginner or you might be towards the other side of it where you're running a full-scale automation agency. NA10 is not free. If you're using the cloud version, I know you have 14 days free trial, but after that you will have to pay a subscription fee. If you are self-hosting NA10, this is the benefit you will get. You will have more control. Run, you will be able to run custom integration, access all features, stores your data where you want. You wouldn't have any limits because you, with, with the cloud version, the XU, there, there will be a limit on execution. However, in self-hosting, mean you'll have unlimited workflow, unlimited execution. In terms of cost point of view, you'll be saving at tons of money. At the moment, in my own personal opinion, the cloud version is really expensive. But if you are self-hosting NA10, it is very cost effective. In uh, some cases, you'll be able to run free. However, in my experience, free version is just for testing things out. But if you want really full-on powerful NA10, you'll have to pay some subscription fee. However, that will look cheaper than you would pay in the cloud version. And finally, the data privacy, which is a very big thing if you're running an AI agency because a lot of your client will want to know where the data gets stored and self-hosting will give you that control. We'll take you through three ways you can self-host NA10 within minutes. The third one is my favorite. This video is not sponsored by any of this provider. However, I choose this because of the usability and user-friendliness of this provider. Self-hosting and attend using a platform called Render. Render is a model cloud platform that enables developer and teams to build, deploy, and scale application with his we will be using Render to self-host our NA10 instead. Head over to the render.com. Before we sign in, we're gonna have a look at the pricing structure of Render. Renders go four different tiers of pricing structure, starting with Hobby, which is a zero. If you are starting out and just testing out NA10, Hobby will be a perfect option, so you don't really have to pay anything at the beginning. But if you want to be realistic and if you want to use NA10 professionally, you will have to use the other tiers because that that'll be more faster. Once you signed in, this is this is what the dashboard looks like. Before you start configuring the NA10 instances. The best thing is to do is to add your billing information. Even though they will not be charging it, they will be require you to add the, your billing information. First, you need to go to near web services. Once you go to the web services, you will have three options. Git provider, public Git repository, and existing image. We'll be using the existing image option. What, do, what we'll need is we need the Docker image URL. If you just Google it up, this, this will come up. I will have this URL in the description. Or what you can do, you can simply Google search it. Once you paste your URL, connect. First thing, name your web services. And by default, it's NA10, but we can do NA10 for me. It's demo. We leave this blank a region. We can leave it blank, but you can choose close to where you located. it. Then you can choose free option. We will choose the free option. There's nothing else you need to, we need to fill in here. Just leave as it is and deploy web services. Now Renderer is deploying the NA10 service and it will take a few minutes to fully deploy the NA10. It just took over three minutes to fully deploy the system. You can see now it clicked over to live. Also on the bottom, you can see your services live. In order to access the, your NA10 instance, you just simply click this link. Once it's loaded up, you'll have to go through the sign up process. Well, let me quickly do that.
You need to go through the onboarding process for, for us, just select something. Let's start this. Here you go. So you have your own NA10 instances. This is a URL. Every time you need to access to your NA10, you have to use this URL to access your NA10. You can, if you have, if you own a domain, you can actually connect this domain to that URL. There are tons of videos available in YouTube, which will show you how to connect that. Now you see, you can start building automation. So workflow, start from scratch. There you go. Yeah, so we can start using Anaton for your building automation and AI agent. Now I'm going to give you a quick tip on how to keep your NA10 updated. If you look at on the bottom side of the screen, you can see is that there's five updates. If you click that, it will show you how many updates it was released since this instance was installed. Because you're self-hosting NA10, it's your responsibility to making sure that your instances is always updated with the latest version of the NA10. By doing so, you will get the most latest feature of NA10. Also, they will do multiple security patch and stuff. But I'm going to quickly show you how to do that as well through render. So if you go back to your dashboard and then what you do simply you come back to the dashboard and you click here and you deploy latest reference. It will take again a couple of minutes to redeploy the service, but you won't lose anything in that sense. So don't worry about that. So just do that every time when you see an update notification on the bottom. So here you go. I'll give it a try. Let me know in the comment. We'll be using Cloud Station to sell four-star N18 instances. Uh, before you start, start the signing process, I uh, just wanted to give you what Cloud Station is. Cloud Station is basically a platform where you can de build, deploy your application rapidly and scale up as the, as the demand goes up. We'll be using Cloud Station to deploy, deploy our N18 instances. Um, with CloudStation, um, basically it's very similar to the other platform like uh, Renda and Railway where we can use template. There's a lot of template available. It's basically one click where you can deploy different services. Head down to the pricing. CloudStation doesn't have a free tier. However, by the pricing is start only for four bucks. If you are just starting out and testing out NA10, the starter package is more than enough for you to get going. If you're serious about NA10 and wanted to run 100 of NA10 execution, you probably want to then go think about Advanced or Pro. But let's go through the signing process. Once you go through the signing process, including adding your billing details, that's what you'll be able to see. This is the dashboard. One of the great things I like about Cloud Station is it's a template based. So the deployment of any, any project is really easy and simple. The first thing you need to do is go to a new project. Give it a name, NA10, create. Then we'll have to add services. So there's four options, uh, GitHub repo, database, template, Docker image. We'll be using the template and we can search and hit. <laughs> So we are an agent advanced template. As part of the deployment process, this Postgres, Redis, N18 worker and N18 will be deployed. And we do not have to change any of the settings at this point. We can simply just leave the default value and click deploy. It will take some time to deploy all the services. Now the cloud station will run behind the scene and start deploying all the different services like Postgres, Redis, uh, Anit and Worker, and NA10. As the service is being deployed, you will get a notification as they get successfully deployed. Deployed successful. Here you go. It's all done. It just took over just over five minutes to deploy all the services. So in order to access your NA10, so let's click this. The just the application NA10 and open up. You'll have to go through the registration process. Let's get started, skip. There you have it. Now you can start building automations. It's your responsibility to update your NA10 and there's a process to for updating NA10. So how do you know when you need to update? So if you look at on the right bottom hand corner, it says five update and it shows you the update has been released since this instance was the last updated or installed. Simply to update your N18 instance, you need to go back to 
cloud station and go back to n8n instances and click this three dot on this right hand side and redeploy it again it will go through the deployment process it will take around five to six minutes however all your automation or yeah, agent you build through n8n it will still stay the same today we'll be using railway to send for a uh, platform where you can deploy different application and it makes it really easy for user to deploy n8n and, and such as other application like different databases it's super easy deployment when you sign up you get i think five dollar credit the scaling is really important where you know if you are constantly using n8n and you need more resources that it's an auto scaling it didn't go up automatically it will manually have to change anything you can also host databases which you can easily connect it to your workflow storage and things like that let's head over to regular signing process and you can either sign in through github or using your email or using my google mail to sign into the railway once you signed in this is the dashboard you will see as you can see from my dashboard i've been using quite a few different services yeah. using railway to host or n8 into railway first you have to click new then there's an option how you can import your n8 into railway the easiest way to do so to you deploy templates there's a way you can actually search n8 there's a few things which i normally look at it and how many people actually downloaded this template what percentage has uptime and who it actually publishes the template i generally choose a template which has a high uptime and a lot more people has downloaded for my personal projects that i actually use this one to deploy a template which will ultimately host na10 you can actually configure each of the element of the template however you can just leave as it is and just simply click deploy it's now in the background creating the infrastructure to support na10 and we'll be downloading the most up-to-date na10 onto the railway here yeah, it takes a little while it successfully deployed it took roughly around two minutes to do that there are four elements of that which supports the n810 and each of them get deployed separately so that's why it takes the time so once it's completed then what you do need to do is you need to go to n810 main instances and then go to the settings under the settings you will actually have the link where you will actually be able to access your n810 that's the link also you can connect the, your custom domain in here for the first time when you click the link you'll actually have to set up your account let's do quickly do that click the link the plank and skip you can actually request the free license which will give you some more advanced option to do that but i'm not going to do that for that because i already have it, so i'm just going to skip and there we have it this is na10 hosted on railway so two you can start from scratch and you can now start building your automation so there we have it n 10 self-hosted on railway next i will show you how to update n 10 the reason being is that if you self-hosted n 10 on a certain cloud server or your local computer it's your responsibility to keep the system updated if you see something like that on the bottom it says five updates that is there's been five updates released since the last update or since the last install of this n810 i'll quickly show you how to update your n810 go back to instances so you need to go back to railway your dashboard click n810 find the main instances click this three dots yeah. once it's been redeployed it will take a few minutes and then you will have an updated and hey girl if you like it please yeah, give us a thumbs up also if you want to learn more about na10 or how to build automation on our ai agent please subscribe for more future videos